Right. Uh, for this lesson, we will discuss on uh, given schematic. And this is a design of a TTL logic probe. We have to do the design on a strip board. Okay. So based on this circuit, how are we able to design this on a strip board using freezing? Right. So we go to freezing. We okay, open the freezing software. We will go to breakboard. A okay, breakboard. So you are going to work with a strip board. A strip board. Okay, on the core parts. On the core parts. Okay, on the breakboard view. We have this item breakboard. Okay, this is the single sided <coughs> puff board or the donut board. <coughs> and here we have the okay, strip board. Okay, this is a donut board. Okay. After the not board, then you have the street board. Okay, this is a street board. <coughs> Alright, if you observe the street board here, okay, given the default, the default given. Okay, what you want, what are the parameters? Then you go to inspector and see what is the parameters for this big street board. Okay, well, this is street board. If you click this, you have a, okay, <coughs> you can have per board. Okay, uh, so you you want to work with three board, okay, so we are going to design a, a three board. Okay, so basically, uh, I want the strip to be horizontal, so <coughs> I will change this to horizontal strips. <coughs> right, in our lab, uh, we have a standard size of three board, that is, we have uh, 24 holes okay horizontally you have 24 holes but in uh, in columns you have 54 24 by 54 in terms of the holes uh. okay the length here is 54 holes the height here is 24 holes so if you can change the parameters over here okay so i want the column to be 54 54 okay the rows to be 24 okay 54 24 is a column, okay. 24 is uh, from top to bottom, the number of holes. They okay, set word size. <coughs> okay, once you have this, uh, sometimes you find the uh, three board become a mesh. There's a mesh, like a mesh. Uh, this at this part here. So what you need to do, you have to reorient the strips again. Okay, the layout. So turn on to one horizontal vertical, then change back, change back to horizontal strips. Okay, and all will be aligned accordingly. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, we have uh, fifty-four. Okay, 54. This is single sided chip board, uh, 54. Uh. Okay. And the height, the height. You have uh, a okay. 23. Okay, so basically, basically, you have 24. Okay, you can count 1, 2, 3, 23. So you have a spare one. Okay, any four rows. <coughs> right, uh, what happens if you uh, require, you want to have half, half board? Okay, half the line. Uh. But half the line, you just change this. Uh, you will change. You can change this, the length to 27. Okay, then you can half the board. Okay, 27. Sometimes uh, you're given half of the strip board. Okay, you need to cut from the full length into half. Okay, if you are given the length 54, then you can just set the board size to 54. Okay, again, 
there's a match on one side on one half so change the orientation first and change it back all right uh, so this is uh, how you set the street board okay now i am going to show you how to do the design okay okay you are given this schematic design schematic circuit you are going to do the do the components layout on the street board okay so what you will do uh, i will minimize this okay Okay, it will bring out the components required for this uh, schematic diagram. Okay, first of all, I have the board. I have the board. I want. So we are going to design using the full length of the street board. Okay. So now we are we look at what items we need. Okay. First of all, I look into the resistor R1, R2, R3, R4, R5. Okay. For so resistor, five of them. Okay. R1 is a it is a 15 kilo ohm R1 we have R2 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 2.2 kilo ohm And here is a uh, 150 ohm. 150 ohm. Okay. <coughs> we can uh, duplicate control D. Control D. So I have the resistor accordingly. Okay, <coughs> hey, now what else do I need? Oh, I need a diode. D1, D2, D3, D4. Diode. So where's the diode? Okay, diode. Okay. Control D. Control D. Control D. Okay. Diode. Okay, I have the diode, four diodes. Uh, okay, this is a capacitor C1 and C2. Okay, non polarized. Okay, C1, C2, non polarized. So, what's the value of my capacitor? 0 0.1 microfarad. 0 0.1 microfarad. 0 0.1. Microfarad. Okay, so we want to change accordingly. You can do so. Okay, okay you can also. It's the same. Uh, Hundred microfarad and zero point one microfarad. The same. one okay I have a capacitor and uh LED L1 L2 L3 okay L1 will be high L1 will be high will be red color red color okay L2 will be L2 open contact I believe this will be yellow color and uh, L3 will be green color you can change the color so color green 
okay l3 green so l2 will be yellow yellow i can choose any of them okay yellow Right, what else do I need? So I have all the components here. One, two, D1, D2, D3, D4. Okay, the other one is the IC. Okay, this can be 7400 IC. For the IC, I will use a okay, generic IC. Generic IC. Okay. So this IC at the parameter, it is a stated generic IC. Generic IC. So it is 8 pin, so I can change to 14 pin. 14 pin. Okay. So I want to put the IC number 7400. Okay. So I have 7400. Okay, on top of that, okay, I will need uh, to use a pin insert for my supply. Okay, so I want to use a pin insert. Okay, pin insert. Okay, you have two of these. Uh, this pin insert. There are two of them. So I want to have one. So you ensure you click the component and change the parameter. Okay, from two pins into one pin. Okay, so I need three of them. Control D. Control D. Okay, why two of them? Uh, so because I need the plus five volt, zero volt, and the probe. Okay, and the probe. Okay, what else do I need? Okay, the tax. Okay, tax. Plus five volt, zero volt. So for this, you go to the breadboard view. Okay, so you take out. Okay, so here. Okay, make sure you click okay, the word logo at the parameter you change yeah? I want plus 5 volt plus 5 volt okay you will, you will show there okay again I did not put at the right place uh, text logo okay plus 5 volt Okay, plus 5 volt and I need one more 0 volt okay so I can control D control D okay so one will be for probe probe P R O B E. So the other one is a uh, zero volt. Okay, zero volt. Zero volt. Okay. So may I may need uh, one more. Okay. Today is starting on the three board. Uh, I may need to indicate. So I will take this one. Control D. Okay. So this one I will change to the letter X. Okay, to indicate any card on the three board. Letter X. So since to make it very visible, I change this to red. Okay. Okay. Alright, this text just uh, to highlight this text. If you want to resize. You can check resize. You can resize over here, or I can, I can just click there and drag. Okay, I can resize. Uh. Okay, this X I want to resize. Okay, I can resize over here. Okay, that's all the components I need for my connection.